another day, another Pixel Watch update. So I just posted a video the other day showing off a video that Google themselves posted showing off the Pixel Watch wherein the bezel on that watch looked, let's just say it looked preposterously large. This is a still from that image, okay? That bezel, it looks absolutely massive. So the internet saw this and they went, oh my Lord, what is Google doing? That is the biggest bezel. It looks like a tire, like it is the biggest bezel I've ever seen on any kind of watch. And I have plenty of people comment and say things like, well, your watch has a bezel too. If you think that the bezel on this is anywhere similar to the bezel that you're seeing in that image, I'm sorry, we're just living in two very different worlds. This will be a very, I, I would bet that most people, if you show them this, they would say, oh, it's kind of a clunky, kind of a, ugly looking watch. It doesn't look very good. Well, the strange thing about this was that we had seen leaks of the Pixel Watch prior where one got left in a bar. We saw a guy with one on and in that image, the bezel looked way smaller. So I made this video saying, hey, look, it might just be a weird watch face or something. Something's odd about it. But I don't think the bezel, it's going to be big, but it's going to be way smaller than what we just saw. Well, here's the funny, rather hilarious, if you ask me, update from today. I put this in a Twitter thread. Google just posted a new version of that video on a different YouTube channel, a different version of their YouTube channels for different languages. So this is the one that we got in the America, the one that was in English, the one that was seen by most people. This is the new one that they just now posted. Does that look different to you? Does that look really different to you? Does that look like it lines up with the leaks that we had already seen? Absolutely, it does. So what this says to me is that when this video was made, the people that were making it, you know, these are 3D renders, I'm assuming. This is not like an actual like watch they're dangling and zooming in and out of and so forth. When they rendered it, they just scaled the watch face incorrectly and made the thing look terrible by accident. And then they had to go in and scale it up to make it look better. That would be my assumption, make it look closer to reality. So the video that I just posted where I said, let's pump the brakes. It's not going to quite be this bad. I felt quite vindicated because Google themselves now have seen fit to re-edit and repost their own video in, like I said earlier, this is the Taiwan version of their channel to uh, actually show us what this thing's going to look like. And it really doesn't look bad at all. So this is kind of a little short update video for you people who are excited about the Pixel Watch and you're worried about that bezel. Well, don't worry nearly as much because this was simply a mistake. Unfortunately, it is a mistake that to my knowledge, let's see in particular or specifically here, uh, it's been seen by nearly half a million people. So well, kind of a big oopsie if you ask me. But it's been fixed and the thing's going to be actually unveiled and everybody's going to forget about this dumb video that made the watch look way worse than it is actually going to look. Now, we still have to talk about the pricing, right? $350 potentially for this thing with the uh, Fitbit Versa and the Fitbit Sense being, you know, uh, below that. So the Sense, I think, is like $300 and the Versa is like a little over $200. So that's kind of your pricing structure. Although, you know, yeah, this thing's going to have all the Fitbit features, that we are used to having, plus the cool smartphone stuff that Wear OS brings. Battery life will be worse than the Fitbit stuff. So there's a lot more to talk about, and we'll have to, you know, once more information is actually there, this thing's actually out in people's hands, we'll be able to review it more properly at that point. But again, uh, the bezel's not as bad as we thought. Guys, thanks for